All right, we are live. All right, you want to start? Yeah, just, just go ahead. Okay. All right, hello everyone. I'm Joy. Today we're going to be doing two fun egg recipes for breakfast. It's our breakfast series. Make sure that you have your parents' permission before you take part in this. We are going to be using the stove today, and you just want to make sure you have your parents' permission anyways. So, all right, the first recipe we're going to make, I think I've heard it called like an egg's nest. I don't really know the exact name for it, but what you're gonna wanna do is get a slice of bread. All right, and you're gonna wanna take something to cut with. I'm gonna use a butter knife. If you have cookie cutters at home, you could use those to do fun shapes. What you're gonna wanna do is cut some type of shape in the middle of your bread. So let's see, I'll just do a circle, be kind of basic. If I had a cookie cutter, then I would definitely do a fun shape, but I don't think I have any that aren't Christmas themed. So, this doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. I actually have one, but it would be too big. It's a dragon. Yeah. It would be way too big for the bread. But if you had jumbo bread on the off chance, oh. but... <laughs> or really small cookie cutters. Oh, we've got three viewers now, which is awesome. All right, so I'm cutting my bread, cutting this shape in the middle of it. It can be as big as sm or as small as you want. I'm, I kind of picked a medium size because I have made this before, and I find that's kind of what works. So I'm going to do my best to take it out. All right. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side. So now what I'm gonna, or what I wanna do is go start the stove top. I'm gonna set it to about four, and I wanna make sure I spray my pan as well with my non-stick spray, because you do not want your eggs to be sticking. I'm just gonna do a light layer right there. All right, and that should be heating up. You want to get it a little bit warm before you put your stuff in, just so it's not really sitting there, especially with this recipe, because the egg will make the bread soggy, which I don't think we want, right? So, I'm going to bring my stuff over here. All right. It's getting there. So, what I'm going to do is you, so what you can do with this recipe, you can put butter on your bread if you want before you put it in the, um, pan you don't have to do that I'm not doing that but you can absolutely it's up to you so I'm gonna put it in and then I'm going to kind of crack my egg hope I dripped a little gotta be careful with that but I'm gonna try, gonna try not to get any shells in and I'm gonna crack my egg right in my hole of my bread just like that look at that how cute so and remember you after you um, crack an egg and if you get it over your hands you want to wash your hands again I'd wash my hands before this and I'm gonna do it Run one more time right now. Take a look at that. Oh, Natasha and the kids say hello. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Let's see. Yeah, All right, so. All right, so now you're going to wait for your egg to cook. All right. Wait a little bit. So, while I do this, as long as I'm standing near and I'm watching over it, I can start my next recipe for the eggs. So, my next recipe is going to be some scrambled eggs, and they're scrambled eggs my way. Everybody makes their scrambled eggs a bit of a different way, but this is how I learned to make them growing up, so that's what I'm going to show you. So my first step, I'm going to make two eggs, because me and my roommate Jess are here, so one egg for each of us. You can do as many eggs as the people who are going to eat it. Or more than that, less than that, it's kind of up to you. But like I said, I'm doing two because there are two of us. Yep, and it depends on how hungry you are. Sometimes yep. um, I do two eggs for myself. It really depends on the day. So Absolutely. Depends what you're having with it, too. If you're having um, eggs with potatoes and bacon, then maybe less eggs. That's what I tend to do. Yep, same here. So I'm going to crack my two eggs kind of the same way as I did the other ones. Put them in there. There's one. I'm going to throw those. And as you can see, if we're watching this still, it's starting to get a little bit white on the bottom. You can still kind of see through it, so that's how we know it's not ready to flip yet. Um, you can still see it looks like, almost like a gel, but we're going to keep an eye on that still, because it's starting to get there. So I'm going to crack my second egg for the scrambled eggs. Perfect. And I am going to go wash my hands again, because I got egg on myself again. So yeah, we've got two eggs in there. And we've got our other egg cooking. It's getting there. All 
All right. Yes, this is definitely getting closer. So my next step for my scrambled eggs is I'm going to scramble the eggs first. I don't know if this is how everybody does it, but this is how I always do it. So I have the two eggs. I'm going to use a fork. You can use a whisk, but I'm just going to kind of scramble them up there. You can see what I'm doing, which is kind of the same thing you'd be doing with a whisk. Forks so, are just like mini whisks. So again, if you missed this at the beginning, Joy used a knife to cut out the small circle, but if you have a smaller cookie cutter of any shape, you can do that too. That's a fun way to do it. But if you don't have it, again, you could just use a knife and cut out a shape for it. But we just wanted to throw that out there again. All right, so I'm gonna check on this. It's starting to look a little bit good. Oh, she might be able to flip. So this is kind of like a special, I don't know, would you say an art, a special technique, <laughs> trying to be able to flip an egg like this without breaking the yolk. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't. So we'll see how I can do today. And it doesn't totally ruin it. It's just some people like it when you don't crack, yep. uh, break the yolk. All right, so I'm going to do my best. I'm going to use my hands here. Like I said, you should have your parents' permission. And this might be a point where you want your parents' help, depending on the size of your pan. But just being able to flip mine, I'm going to use my hand. And look at that. So that's what this side looks like. Ooh, I don't go. think I broke the yolk. So it pretty looks pretty good. So I'm gonna let that cook a little bit on that side and continue with my scrambled eggs. So after I have kind of whipped them up, this is what they should look like. And the next thing I'm gonna put in is milk. So I don't normally measure with the measuring cup. So I just kind of, it depends. So I like my eggs a little bit more watery. So I put a little bit more milk in, but I'll try to put like the standard amount in just to make kind of standard eggs. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in just like that for like what? Maybe two, one and a half seconds to two seconds. Probably can... equals out to about three tablespoons. I would say maybe a little bit more maybe a little less. Yep. It's not, I don't think making eggs is an exact art, um, but I'm going to mix it in now. And you can see it's kind of a little bit lighter of a color now. Ooh, we've got a bad glare going on. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so I've mixed my milk in now. I'm gonna check on this one again. I'm gonna flip it the other side to see how, oops, see how it's looking. Oh, Whoa, that's looking looks good. pretty good to me. All right, so I think that's about ready to take off, don't you, Jess? I think so. All right, so I'm gonna put it back on its plate. And I'm going to throw this little piece in there. So we're going to have a little piece of extra toast. Just to get it kind of toasted on both sides. So you're not wasting any part of this. So while that is toasting up, I'm going to get my cheese. So I have shredded cheese. It's really your choice what kind of cheese you use. I like the Mexican style that you put in tacos. But if you have cheddar, if you have any other, if you have mozzarella, any of those kinds are really good. So remember, definitely depends on your preference of cheese. Absolutely. So remember, I did wash my hands before this. Now I'm gonna reach in the bag, and I'm gonna take kind of like a fingertip full, and I'm gonna put that in there. Just one fingertip full, looks like this, and I'm gonna mix that in. Another cool thing you can do, if you had your eggs still in the pan with the, with the bread, you could throw some cheese and melt it on there if that's something Ooh. you would like. That would be good. Even That could even be a square of cheese mm. as well. Any kind of cheese would work for that. So my um, how I judge this is you can't really see oh the God, cheese in the there, can you? so bad. No, no. Okay. <laughs> can you see it there? A little bit better. <laughs> you can't really see any of the cheese in there. So I'm going to grab another fingertip full. Because I think cheesy eggs are the best eggs. And I'm going to put those in there. Those little pieces of cheese. And I'm going to mix that in. And you can definitely see the cheese a little bit more now. You can see some little, for me, some orange strips. All right. See if That's what see my eggs go. are looking like. You can, you can see, see, it now. see the cheese in there? I think that looks perfect. So the last things that I'm going to put in here are a little bit of salt and pepper. So I have my little shakers. I'm just going to do... I'm gonna do one little shake of salt, just kinda like that, tap it. 
Because I don't need a lot of salt. And salt tends to come out a lot quicker than pepper. Yep. And I'm going to do maybe three, four shakes of pepper. And you can definitely put in more or less. And you should be able to see it in yep. there. The pepper's really easy to see. So that way it's easy to know how much you have. That's why it's a little bit hard with the salt. You can always add more after it's cooked as well. So I'm going to check on my little piece of toast here. That looks pretty good. It does nice look pretty good. Nice and toasty. Toasty. And I'm going to put that right on top. Because why not? So now, um, this pan has already been sprayed. So I'm going to say I don't need to spray it again. Right, Jess? Yeah, I would say you're I fine. I don't think I need to. So you probably don't need to eat either. So now what I'm going to do is so I'm going to take my scrambled eggs, egg mix. Excuse me. And I'm going to pour it in. She's a little warm. Yeah, so if, she's, if your pan's warm, just like feel free to put it right oh, down because you don't want your eggs to cook too fast. Right. Yep. I usually don't cook my scrambled eggs with the pan having been heated for so long before. So um, I usually do cook mine on four just because scrambled eggs don't usually take that long. But now that it's been on four for a while, it's a little bit warm. So, so yeah, so Joy moved it down to about like in the middle of three and two if you're using an electric stove. So that'd probably be like... A really low flame if you're using a gas stove. Yep. So now what you're waiting for is for the bottom of the eggs to kind of harden so you can um, move them to the side and more can uh, more can harden up. So I'm gonna go like that and you can see that those pieces are hard they look kind of like typical uh, scrambled eggs and I'm just gonna kind of keep doing that give it some time to harden up. These are looking good. I can see the cheese in there. I love some cheese. I'm a big cheese person. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Let it harden up. And this isn't really an exact art either. You just kind of can move it around. I think it's kind of fun. Getting to see how the liquid changes into more of a solid. Pretty fun. If you've missed anything or have any questions from the beginning of the video, either put it in the comments and or after or right now, and we can try to answer whatever questions you have if you want to try this out. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Also, feel free to comment your favorite way to eat scrambled eggs. I know some people like it in... A burrito type thing some people eat it eat them with hot sauce I personally eat them with ketchup um, some people just eat them plain and that's awesome too I like to eat them with HP brown sauce it's a British sauce huh. it's my favorite I don't think I've ever tried that not super common around here but it's it's a pretty good sauce so if you see I'm just kind of moving and around moving them around now and breaking them up that for a second. Yeah, they're looking real good. They're looking real scrambled if you ask me. <laughs> and also if you have any um, uh, suggestions for other types of breakfast we could make or any types of recipes in general that you would love to see us make, then comment those or send us a message and we will definitely do our best to take that into account. Absolutely. We're almost there. So if you can tell, um, the eggs are starting to harden up a little bit more. They're not really that liquid anymore. So they're just about getting to the point where I would say that they're done. You can take them off. You could definitely leave them on for longer if you like your eggs even harder. Uh, like I said, I tend to prefer my eggs a little bit more watery, a little bit lighter. So I tend to take them off around this point um, because you can see they're cooked because, like I said, they're not watery. So it's kind of up to you if you take them off now or if you leave them on another minute or two. But it really doesn't take long at all to cook scrambled eggs. That's why I love to make them in the morning. Um, and that, um, what I call it, an eggs nest, that was super quick too, um, super good. Sometimes, what I've done before is in the eggs, ne eggs nest, oh my goodness, um, I put scrambled eggs in the middle, actually. Ooh, that sounds instead good. Instead of just cracking an egg. So you can really do what you want with that. You could put, um, you can also put other things in your scrambled eggs as well. You could put onions, you could put peppers, you could get real fancy with it. But these are just some typical scrambled eggs. I'm gonna take them off now. I'm gonna put them on my plate with my other egg, or at least some of them. 
And I'm going to turn, make sure we turn the stove off. And. Mm. Little appetite. Looks fantastic. Thanks for joining us, guys. Right, we'll see you thanks. next week. Bye.